Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we are doing Getting to Know You episode 59 which is going to include uh, some happy mail and um, also the announcement of last week's subscriber of the week winner. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today we're doing Getting to Know You episode 59. I will announce last week's subscriber of the week winner as well as go show you a really small acquisition and um, happy mail that I'm a little confused about. But first, I would love to welcome all of our new subscribers and of course, welcome back everyone else. Thank you all so incredibly much for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. And um, of course, if you are new, I would love it if you'd consider, oh my goodness, tongue tied. I'd love it if you'd consider hitting the red subscribe button down below, as well as the notification next to that. Make sure that you set the bell to all so that you're notified anytime I upload a video, as well as if you'd be willing to give this video a thumbs up and of course, comment and share that would be very much appreciated also. So thank you in advance for doing all of that. So, um, I am going to, let's just start with getting to know you first. And then um, before we get to the tick marks of everybody's favorites and all that kind of stuff from the previous week's videos, uh, we'll go ahead and do subscriber of the week and um, the happy mail. So first of all, I just want to remind you that today is the video you want to enter for this week's subscriber of the week. And all you have to do is let me know what changed on my yarnscape and what day. So not the yarn itself, but anything on as far as the decoration. So just let me know what day, what changed, and that will be your entry into this week's subscriber of the week. Uh, so that is that. That's this video. So make sure if you are interested in entering and, you know, the winner gets a card and a set of stickers from me, but it's one way for me to be able to say thank you to um, more subscribers because I'd love to say thank you to everybody, but unfortunately I don't have those kind of funds <laughs> to be able to send something to everybody, but I would if I could. Uh, so anyway, all right, so let's get on to getting to know you. I had a couple of questions. Um, one, somebody asked what the difference was between a yarn cozy or what I call a yarn condom and a yarn bowl. Now the yarn condoms are the sleeves that I've shown you guys that uh, you could put your, once you take your hank of yarn and you put it into a cake like that, um, you can put the put it into a cake cozy. I mean a yarn cozy or um, a yarn condom as I've started. I love calling them and um, That is that what that's what that's the yarn condom and that is what you would use with a center pull cake so you're it's just holding it nice and not necessarily tight, but it's just holding it in place. So as you're using a center pull cake, it it's not like falling in on itself or getting all messy. Or if you have multiple um, hang or cakes in your project, they're not you know getting entangled. That sort of a thing. So that's what the yarn cozy or yarn condom is for. A yarn bowl, which typically has the little swirly like cut out on the side of the bowl. Um, that is typically for when you have a yarn ball where you're, or where you're using it from the outside. You're using the yarn from the outside, not from the center pole so that it can sit and like roll around in the bowl being contained. And you have, you know, the, the little cut out on the side of the bowl where you would have your yarn coming out of. That's what the difference is. Um, cause with a yarn condom, you wouldn't be able to use, I mean, I guess you could use, um, an outside, like if you're using the yarn strand from the outside, but I, th I don't know that it would be as convenient as what it's designed for, which is the center pole, um, cake and the yarn bowls are nice. I actually have one. I got one for the very first time. My mom bought one at the yarn lady. That's, um, that is another, uh, local yarn shop tour that I did. I'll link it in the cards above as well as the description box in the top pin comment. But um, it, they're really awesome if you have, like I said, an outside 
um, pull of yarn and it just sits and it kind of rolls around in the bowl so that it's contained but yet you're still having it controlled through the little cutout on the side all right so that is the I hope that helped or answered your question I know I also responded to your comment but if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to respond better if I can um, and then Carrie asked if Canada is included in my regular giveaways so as far as subscriber of the week which is a card and stickers absolutely honestly unless i ended up doing like a huge yarn giveaway any of my giveaways so far to to this point have always been open worldwide so yes canada and the rest of the world unless for whatever reason a part of the world doesn't accept um like a giveaway or a gift from from the united states or yarn um, it is definitely the entire world is included. So I did respond to your comment as well, but I just wanted to let everybody else know because I'm sure other people had that um, question. So that's it for questions. Now, as far as like tips, tricks, ideas, that sort of uh, thing. Um, let's see what I have here. I have my notes all kind of crazy. First of all, I do want to thank you all for your support. Uh, you guys have been amazing. Your comments are just awesome. Uh, we've had a lot of new subscribers. Before I get to everything else, I guess I'll get to this point next because it has to do with all the new subscribers. Um, as you all know, I am a fairy in the Christmas in July Fairies 21 event that the um, that is being held in our in our community as well as other communities. And um, I will link the video, my Christmas in July fairy video up above as well as in the description box and the top pin comment if you, to make it easier for you to get, it, get there if you would like to, if you haven't entered already for my video with, um, for the semi-finalist, but that video will explain it all. But um, we have been noticing an issue as far as um, subscriber counts being um lowered by youtube views being taken away comments being taken away and um i know several fairies have actually posted videos about it uh, i don't know that any one of us has gotten a concrete answer from youtube i know i haven't i've gotten the same scripted answer from four different people so um the one thing I'm guessing is the issue here is that because there are so many fairies, a lot of the contestants or you, the viewers, are copying and pasting your answers from video to video to video. Unfortunately, what that's causing and what we are thinking is the issue is, is the algorithm and, you know, it's, it's seeing that as spam because it's not a physically typed out answers. It, it's thinking it could be a bot or, you know, a spammer or a troll or whatever, simply doing that and it's not an actual person interested in entering all of these videos. Um, as well as some of the fairies, because we get so many comments, are copying and pasting responses to you guys, and that also could be considered spam, technically. So what I'm going to ask, and I know this could maybe make it be like, ugh, this is not as much fun. Believe me, it is. And it's a learning lesson for us. Last year, we had a folder that spam comments went into, and we fairies were able to go in there and approve them. And I think that's why we got so many spam comments is because the the YouTube algorithm was throwing out anything that was copy and pasted, but it was letting us approve it figuring we would know that it's spam or not this year that it's not going into that folder so it's just being put out there and I think it's just catching it as spam so we will know now for next year anybody that does take part in it to let you guys know in advance make sure you physically type out your comment but if you can do me a favor if you're watching this and you got a notification you're very you're you're subscribed to my channel but if you didn't get a notification and you just happen to see this video come up if you guys wouldn't mind just clicking on my name um, below the video and making sure that you are actually subscribed to my channel, that would be awesome. If it's a red subscribe button, that means you're not. So click it. If it's grayed out, don't touch it because that means you're subscribed. But also, if you wouldn't, that's why I'm leaving the link for my video. So it's very easy for you to get to. You don't have to search for it or anything else. If you wouldn't mind clicking the comment section, if you know you commented to my video, if it's not like in the first first or second space of, as far as your comment with your name on it, 
that means your comment isn't in there any longer. So if you wouldn't mind typing, or not typing, but on your keyboard, you know, or if you're on, on a computer, whatever, actually writing out a message versus copying and pasting a comment, even if, to make it easier, if you decide to do this throughout all the videos, I'm fine if all you say is CIJF or, or you know, um, please enter me, you know, something short. You don't have to do like a really long thing because I don't want to waste your time. But I want to make sure that your comment is still, in fact, in my video because I want you to be entered into the giveaway. So that'll be my Christmas in July fairy, hashtag Christmas in July fairies video. Again, it'll be in the description box below as well as the top pinned comment. Make sure you go there. Make sure your comment is still there. If it is, great, no worries. If it's not, just enter another one and that will enter you in, okay? So I just wanna make sure you all are entered because that's really important to me because that, that was really bothering me if it kicked you guys out because that's not fair. But we're learning. It's a learning curve, it's a huge event. So we're learning, you guys are learning. We're gonna help you next year more because we're gonna know what's going on. So we're just, we're just growing together. <laughs> I know I took a long way around that. I apologize, but I want to make sure. And you guys can do that with the other fairy videos if you want to make sure that your comments are there and that you are subscribed to their channels. You know, it, it, there is a playlist. I'll have the playlist as well, the official playlist in the description box below, as well as the top pin comment. So you can go and check all of the ones you know you entered if you want. It's up to you. Just putting it out there. All right, so... Yay, I already went through, I think, a couple points on my, on my checklist. Okay, so the next thing I am really super excited about because I've never gotten this from this person. So as you guys know, last week, I think it was on, I can't remember on what video, but I showed you Happy Mail from Expression Fiber Arts. And you all know I love Shandy and her yarn and her patterns. That cubby is, that's all stuffed with Shandy's yarn from Expression Fiber Arts. Well... She is going to be sending something for a future surprise giveaway. She's donating something like so many other small businesses. So yay, I'm so excited about that because I'm sorry, I'm not parting with my stuff. <laughs> I'm kidding, I would, but no, not really. <laughs> um, I mean, I love you guys dearly, but that's my Shandy yarn. Um, nope. Anyway, I'm kidding. I would. But anyway, she is donating something. She's going to be sending that to me and yay, I'm excited about that. But I have a special coupon code for you guys that is dedicated to me that she created. It's for you guys to be able to use. Now, I have a referral link that will be in the description box as well as a top pin comment. If you are new to her site and have never created an account, follow that link, create an account, and you'll get a special 15% off coupon that you can use that way. And then you'd have this coupon code also for a different purchase. But if you like so many of you are already account or you know you've already purchased whether patterns or whatever which means you've created it well you may or may not I don't remember if she has a guest option if you have created an account I you can still from my understanding you can still follow the referral link you just will you'd be signing into your existing account but you can use this coupon code to get 15% off your entire purchase it's a one-time coupon only. So when you go and you use this, it's one time only, you can't keep using it. But it is a 15% off coupon for all of you that already have an account that my referral link wouldn't work for you. And I felt so badly for so long because so many of you do have shopped with her, do have an account, so you, I wasn't able to give you an extra coupon to her stuff. This way, you can still get a one-time coupon and make a purchase with her if you guys are wanting to. So I'm so excited. Now she does have a rewards program so you guys can sign up for your own and the more purchases you do, the more points you get and the, you know you can get your own coupons built up over time. But the coupon code for Expression Fiber Arts is, and I'll put it across the screen, is Natalie15. So Natalie15 and that'll get, it's a one-time coupon for 15% off of your purchase. So I... If the referral, for those of you that have an account, if the referral link doesn't work for you to get you to her site, which it should, um, I will also put the link to her website directly. But so you'll know if you've shopped with her before. If you have shopped with her before, you can use the regular link or, you know, whatever, that's fine. If you've never shopped on her site before, follow the referral link and you will get a coupon following that referral link and creating the an account and you know for your first purchase and then you could also use this coupon 
for another time, if that makes sense. Okay, if you have any questions, leave the leave it in the comment section below. I will definitely respond to you and let you know, you know, try to clarify it. But I hope I, I hope, I hope I was okay with how I explained that. <laughs> I know sometimes I get a little bit overboard. I apologize. But anyway, okay, so, um, Oh, I had to laugh because remember how I said that I, I tend to talk to myself all the time preparing for my videos and I'm just walking around and, you know, hello, this is Natalie or welcome to my channel. This is Natalie. And I said I was talking to myself, Beth, I love you dearly. She's like, wait a minute. We have fur babies. Isn't that what they're for? We're not talking to ourselves. We're talking to our fur babies. Huh? Yeah, I like that better. I'm not talking to myself because sometimes I answer myself. So if I'm talking to Miley, I could pretend like she's asking a question. I could be answering her, not me. Because they say once you start answering yourself after you're talking to yourself, that's where the problem lies. <laughs> so I love it, Beth. I'm there with you. I'm talking to Miley now from now on. She ignores me, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> that's not a problem. All right. Um, I also wanted to let you know, uh, oh, for Katie with Naughty Knitting Sacks. I know so many of you guys love my Naughty Knitting Sacks that I shared with you guys. I always have um, a link in the description box of every video with a coupon code to her Etsy shop. I have had several people come to me and say she, she, just, she only has a few items in her shop. I know because she sells out so fast. Uh, it's just the way it is. She does a shop update and it goes. So if you want to stay on top of it and know when she's doing her shop updates, follow her on Instagram because that's where she typically will let her. It's normally every two weeks on a Friday. I just don't know like if it was yesterday or two days ago or if it's going to be next week. I'm not sure where it is in her schedule. Um, but follow her on Instagram, um, Naughty Knitting Sacks. And uh, that way you will always know when she's doing a shop update. And as soon as you get the notification, I would head on over to her shop because I'm telling you, she sells out fast. She will take custom orders. It may take some time because I know a lot of people that do a lot of sewing and project bags and all that kind of stuff. The um, fabrics are taking, some fabrics take a while to get to them. So things can take a little bit of time. So be patient. But... I'm just letting you know because so many of you have said I'm trying to get something, but she's always sold out. That's a good thing for her, but I know for us, it's like, I want to get this bag, you know? So I'm just letting you know, follow her on Instagram so you can know when her shop updates are so you could go and grab something that, you know, you absolutely love. All right. Oh, and I had a couple people ask me, um, I've mentioned how those two, um, uh, yeah, two local fiber art shops um, in my area that I wanted to go check out, not yarn shops or needlepoint shops, but I wanted to do tours of them, but I've called them over 10 times each and they never answer. So I just don't know. Are they not open? Are they, you know, whatever. Several of you said, well, have you left a voicemail? Have you tried emailing? I honestly have not tried emailing. I am going to, but yes, every time I've called, I've left a voicemail. I've never gotten a call back. I know the one in St. Pete tends to be open, but I have no idea what their hours are because I can't get a hold of anybody and nobody's responding to me and I don't want to drive out there. Not that it's that far away, but depending on the time of day, it could take half hour, 40 minutes to get out there. I mean, that's that's rare, but it could. And I'd hate to that be the day, although then I'd go do work on something else that we have going. But anyway, um, I have left messages and I am gonna email, but thank you for the suggestion and asking the question. I just wanted to let you know, yes, in fact, I have. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna announce last week's subscriber of the week. Nope, I'm gonna do happy mail first because it's driving me crazy like literally bonkers. I know I missed last week's live and I feel bad, but we had Hurricane Elsa coming through. Thankfully, everything's fine, no problem. She got disorganized before she even came up here. We had a lot of rain and wind, but it wasn't anywhere near what it, we didn't know what it was gonna be, but it wasn't anything near what could have been. So thank you, thank you so incredibly much. Our prayers were answered, but, and all of your prayers were answered. So thank you for that. But I was going to hop on a live this weekend or since Tuesday because I received this. I think it was on Wednesday or Thursday and I have no idea what it is. But first, my really quick acquisition. I Look at this notebook. You all know I'm obsessed with holographic anything, just like my watermelons. Holographic notebook, yay! And it says, work hard, dream big, never give up. That's totally me. So I had to get this. This was a Tuesday morning. 
What I'm going to be using this for is because I'm very disorganized. I had started, when I started my channel, I started keeping a track of who won subscriber of the week. Did I send out their stuff? What did, what did my giveaway winners get? Did I send it out? Yeah, I haven't done that in well over a year. So I'm going to go back to January and I'm going to keep track of it. And this is going to be my notebook for it because it's holographic and I absolutely love it. And it'll be the one that I work in the longest because I'm not taking cra crazy long notes, you know, and, and going through it really quick. So just wanted to share that with you. Because it's holographic, I mean, is that not absolutely awesome and amazing? Love it. Um, okay, so as far as the happy mail, this is the happy mail. I have absolutely no idea what it is. When I opened my um, P.O. box, it was kind of curled up in there and I was like, I'm expecting so many things that I wasn't surprised there was something in there, but um, I went ahead and I pulled it out and I looked at who it was from and I was completely confused because I've already featured her as a small business just recently, like couple, like last week or maybe the week before. And I'm like, and she already, and she included what she was doing for a future surprise giveaway in what I was expecting before. So what is this? And then I sat there probably for about a good three or four minutes, like just scratching my head. Like, what did I, did I reach out to her about something else? I mean, what? And I have no idea. It's Lila. Le, Le, it is Leela styles from what I understand. It's from Leela styles. I know I mentioned that I was desperately wanting something from her. I am 99% sure she watched the video. I have no idea if she sent something. I don't know, but this is driving me up a wall. So I got to open this. I cannot wait any longer. The fact that I waited this long is incredible. So let's go ahead and open this because I got to know. I got, I just have to know. She has amazing project bags, yarn condoms, all kinds of stuff. I have a link to her Etsy shop as well as her website in the description box below with a coupon code for you guys. So if you want to go check her stuff out, because I know a lot of you guys loved her stuff when you did look at it, um, there is a coupon code down below. Now, from what, she, what I understand, things hit her website first before they go to her Etsy shop, and she is slowly transitioning out of Etsy, but she still has a ton of stuff on there. So whichever one you decide to go to, the coupon code should work. It's in the description box below. So uh, make sure to check that out. Is it what I think it is? Oh my Lord. Look at this, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Who is this? Did she do this? Okay, I gotta get into this. It's the Hunger Games Project Bread! <laughs> I'm so excited! Who did this? I got, I showed you guys the Twilight bag that I got that I loved um, and asked for no judgments that it was Twilight. <laughs> but look, this is the Hunger Games bag. Happy Hunger Games. I volunteer as a tribute. May the odds be ever in your favor. I don't say it with their accent. Um, girl on fire. If we burn, you burn with us. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my God. Wait a minute. I got to read the note. There's other stuff in here. There's other stuff in here. Who did this? This is her. Hello, Natalie. I hope you love this gift from your friend. From my friend? What friend? To Natalie, I hope you squeal so loud when you open your gift from your overseas friend. Oh, Leanne, I would, you know what? I got it. My mouth is dry. Hold on. Or my throat is dry. Hold on a second. I brought my water with me. Leanne, you told me you made a purchase. I thought it was for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I cannot believe you did this. <laughs> Okay, this is her little card thing that she has in there. You guys got to check out her stuff. It, it's awesome. I'm so hot. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's, there's other stuff in here. Look at there's an I Love Reading sticker. I'm guessing it's a sticker. And books. I love reading. That's absolutely true. I don't know if this is something that Leanne picked out or if, um, I don't know. Hold on. I'm so hot. Leanne, you should not have done this. I mean, I don't know how that works as far as shipping. I know that if it were shipped to you, it probably would have cost like $1,000. But, um, yay! And, cra oh, cranberry pomegranate tea. 
I'm all about the fruit. Did, did they figure that out? Okay, from Stash. This is her business card. Check it out. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> Leanne, you should not have done this. Le oh my gosh, Leanne, Leanne. And she knew how upset I was because the next morning I went on to Lila's, Lila's um, uh, shop to see about the Hunger Games bag and it was gone. And I was talking to um, Leanne because we talk all the time. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm waving this in my hand. Oh, yee! look, look, it's a yarn condom. <laughs> it's a Hunger Games. I have a matching set. <laughs> Look, I know that was my evil laugh, but sorry. Oh my gosh, are you are you are you coming to the tree? I love that song. It's on part of my um Pandora uh it doesn't matter anyway. I'm so excited. Leanne, you should and look at the oh my gosh. Look at the oh my god, this is stunning. Did you add did you do this or did she add this in there? This must be an extra. I don't know. I, cause this isn't on, uh, th there's not an invoice in here, Leanne. I promise you. Well, I mean, I know how much your stuff is, but it's not an invoice. It just lists what was part of what you got. And this isn't on there. So I guess this was added as an extra. Is this not stunning? Oh my gosh. It's a beautiful headband. So soft. The quality is incredible too. Wow. This is stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I would put it on right now, except I think it'd make my hair look even more ridiculous. <laughs> but look at that. Is that not beautiful? And it's got the ace of spades on the back. This is stunning. Wow. But I am so freaking excited. Oh, I got lipstick on it. No, I didn't. Did I? No, I didn't. I'm so excited. I'm so hot. You have no idea. I'm so excited. Oh, Leanne, you should not have done this. Oh my gosh. Look, Primrose and Katniss. This, oh my gosh. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited, girl. I'm still betting on you. Yes. Oh, and these are really soft. They're, I mean, not like velvet soft, but like they're just, they're like, they're just soft. They're in absolutely no way like rough or anything. This is awesome. Such great quality. And oh, I'll show you the inside too. Oh my gosh. I'm, oh, look at this is awesome. Very cool. And it is a box bottom, which is even more cool, but it's a box bottom. Such quality work. I highly recommend. Um, she does also have uh, straps like a... Um, a a strap that you can add to it if you wanted to but i absolutely love leanne oh my gosh you shouldn't have and this is i'm keeping it as a zipper pull but it could be a stitch marker also um this is oh my gosh you shouldn't have done this thank you my friend i'm so excited you have no idea like you have absolutely no idea how excited i am because i've i so wanted this i did end up finding it on our website instead of the etsy shop but i still couldn't pull it off but I have to stop saying when I desperately want something because then you do something like this. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. You have no idea how excited. Oh, and look, there's a loaf of bread. Those of you that don't know um, the Hunger Games series, you I, you wouldn't understand what that means. But oh my gosh, I got to keep looking at this because every time I look at it, I find something new. But anyway, the yarn condom is a very, very well-made, um, uh, cozy and it's awesome again this is what you would put your yarn cake into and then you would work center pull so this is exactly what i was talking about before oh my <laughs> oh my gosh i'm so excited oh my gosh i gotta go show my mom yeah i should go show my mom she doesn't know anything about the hunger games but she's gonna know i'm excited about it because i always talk about the hunger games oh my i'm so excited thank you so much leanne you have no idea i'm so freaking hot that's Okay, I gotta cool down for a second because I'm just like overly, you know what I'm talking about. All right, thank you so incredibly much, Leanne. That was, honestly, I really, when you said you placed an order with her, I honestly thought it was for you. I, I didn't even, not that I wouldn't think that you wouldn't do something like that because I would, I should have realized that's what you did, but 
I honestly wasn't even thinking that. I just wasn't thinking that. You, you, you little sneak. I hope you use the coupon code. <laughs> But thank you so incredibly much, my dear friend. You are awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so, so much. And I really hope that the shipping would have been what it was for the states, you know, and because, I mean, it was going from her to me. But thank you. So, yes, I worry about that kind of stuff because I know how much it costs to ship stuff to Australia and or from Australia here. Thank you so incredibly much, my friend. That just... Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Seriously, I was scratching my head for so long trying to figure out what the heck was in there. And I'm like, why would she have sent me something extra? But yay, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got to stop talking because I'm wasting all of your time. I apologize. But I'm seriously so freaking excited. You have no idea. I got two favorite bags, but I got a matching yarn cozy. Okay, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. I just said I was going to stop wasting your time. And what am I doing? I'm wasting your time. Now, I have a ton of tick mark notes, so we're gonna, I'm going to try to get through this really quick. Um, I do tick mark on getting to know you. I go through Monday and Wednesday's videos and, and mark down what it is that you said were your favorite things. And that way we kind of get to know each other a little bit to see what favorite things are, what least favorite things are. So I'm going to go through quickly. Now, I did ask you guys a question from getting to know you last week. And um, I can't remember if I said answering that would be part of what would qualify you into last week's subscriber of the week. Um, entry as well as letting me know what changed on the scape like you could do either or or both um, so I went ahead and I counted that for subscriber of the week entries if if anybody answered them because it was a multiple choice question as in I asked you multiple questions <laughs> um, so I went ahead and I, I included that for when I went to pick the winner for last week's subscriber of the week so um, we're going to do that tick mark. Then I'll let you know who the subscriber of the week was for last week. All right. So Mike, I had asked you guys like what your favorite fiber was, what your favorite fiber arts, um, craft was, uh, what your favorite needle or crochet hook size, what your favorite weight was, what your favorite fiber base was, all of that kind of stuff. Because we have so many new subscribers. I wanted to just kind of get to know, not that I would remember who said what, because I can't remember my own name half the time, but <laughs> at least... I would kind of get the gist of what everybody likes. So with one tick mark, um, as far as a favorite fiber craft, uh, knitting had one as a favorite. Several said they do knit, but they didn't say that it was their favorite or anything. Uh, with another one tick mark was a 2.75 needle hook, or 2.75 millimeter needles. Um, and the four millimeter uh, circle wooden needles then um as far as hook size um oh, it's, oh those were the needles that had one tick mark for favorite needle sizes as far as hook sizes there were two with a single tick mark which was the e or 3.5 millimeter and the f which is a 3.75 millimeter then i'm kind of jumping around because i'm trying to do this quickly um then as far as some people gave me their favorite um yarn brand or if i you know which wasn't a question, but that was fine. I, I loved hearing the answers. So with one tick mark, there was Bernat, one with Mandala, which I think is Lion Brand. Is Lion Brand who does Mandala? But um, one, the Sugar Wheel Sparkle, and one with Malabrigo. Then we had one tick mark as far as favorite yarn fiber base, um, one for Alpaca, one for Angora. Then we had one tick mark for Hook Brand for Boy. One uh, tick mark... Why was that? Oh, because I showed you guys the yarn of the month from Backcountry. Um, and one had the sock mini set from her um, Etsy shop. Then as far as colors, I was told there's tick mark for purple, tick mark one tick mark for teal. And then um, one tick mark for, oh, for clover. Why did I put it down there? Okay, so that went back with Hook Brand, um, one tick mark for Clover. Then with two tick marks, we had Sewing as a favorite fiber craft. Uh, let's see, the I or 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, Red Heart had two tick marks. Um, and then we had, let's see here, uh, Susan Bates. Um, one was specifically Susan Bates. One said Inline, which, um, and Susan Bates, 
be, or because Susan Bates is in line. So Susan Bates got two tick marks and then the Furls Odyssey got two tick marks. Um, then let's see with three tick marks, we had the J hook or six millimeter. Um, and then let's see, oh, as far as favorite yarn fiber, uh, cotton blends got three tick marks then that was it for three and then with four tick marks we had the g or four millimeter um hook and the h or five millimeter hook those got four tick marks then let's see here um oh superwash merino got four tick marks as far as a favorite fiber base then as far as a favorite yarn weight a number two which is a sport weight got four or four tick marks then let's see that's it for four then with five tick marks we had we're getting to the nitty-gritty here aluminum or metal hooks in general got five tick marks um and then let's see and then bamboo was a favorite yarn fiber of five people and as was acrylic although with acrylic it wasn't necessarily favorite but it was the most common that they could get and so they did you know that would be what they work with the most so i went ahead and gave that five tick marks and then with six tick marks all right now we're down to really nitty-gritty here um Oh, did I say bamboo with five tick marks? Um, that had five tick marks. So then with six tick marks, we had, as far as favorite yarn weight, that was a four or worsted weight that had six tick marks. Then with seven tick marks, um, there was the fingering weight or a number one weight yarn. That's all about, that's what I'm all about. Um, and then let's see, that was seven tick marks. Then with eight tick marks, we had... Uh, number three weight, which is a DK weight yarn, had eight tick marks. And that looks like that was it. With nine tick marks, favorite fiber craft was crochet, which that did not surprise me. That was with nine tick marks. Then with, that was it. And then the final thing was with 10 tick marks, and that was favorite yarn fiber was cotton. So that was interesting. I know that kind of went all over the place because I was writing them at, because I go like comment by comment by comment, and then I write down, if it's something new, I just write down a separate category. So I apologize if it wasn't kind of in order, but it wouldn't be anyway because it depended on how many tick marks there were. <laughs> so anyway, that is what came out of last week's Getting to Know You with what were your favorite things, and I gave you a list of stuff, and some of you added more. So thank you for that. I greatly appreciate it. Now I'm going to go ahead and announce last week's subscriber of the week winner, which came off of those questions and or letting me know what day, what changed on my scape. I did add some stitch markers to my stitch marker tree. So that's awesome. That also is in the description box below as far as a link fat cat beads with a coupon code for 20% off anything her site, including the earring or stitch marker tree. So if you want to check that out, feel free. Yes, I'm very passionate about supporting small business and that is why I try to get as many coupon codes for you guys as I can because it may make it easier for you to actually try out different small businesses. All right, so last week's subscriber of the week is... All right, so congratulations, Colleen. I, well, Colleen S, I should say. I am so excited you won. You are actually a, I believe, a new subscriber to my channel. Uh, so congratulations. You answered um, a couple of the questions as far as what your favorite things were. So thank you so much for commenting and for subscribing and supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so incredibly much. Please make sure to email me with your um, mailing address. My email address is natalies.closet at yahoo.com, plus the link is in the de description box below. And once you do that, I will confirm it is you. Um, I haven't, I, it's been a while since I've had like someone I don't already have an address for to give me an address. So I will confirm that it's you because I, I want you to get <laughs> the um, card and stickers. So yay, I'm so excited. Again, thank you so incredibly much for your support and your time and watching my videos. I do really sincerely appreciate it. All right, so let's get on to the rest of the tick marks and then we'll be done. I didn't mean to take so much time, but you know, getting to know you is my podcast. So I tend to get a little more long-winded on it. <laughs> um, all right, so as far as Monday makes, um, on my Monday video, I showed you guys four projects that I was working on, and I told you, you know, on Mondays and Wednesdays, um, you guys let me know what your favorite is, and that's an automatic entry into a future surprise giveaway. Well, 
um, I do the tick marks off of that. Now I said you guys can let me know if one of the projects was your favorite, if the stitch markers, the project bags, the yarn, the whatever the case was, you could let me know. So there were a lot of things that came off of that. So with one tick mark was the lace yarn from Shandy at Expression Fiber Arts. Uh, let's see what else was one tick mark was the fat bottom bag that I was using for one of my projects. Um, then the B stitch marker from Ann Tudor that was with one. My yarn condom had one. The, the fact that, you know, they like speckled yarn, which was on one of my, um, projects. Uh, one was my stitch markers from Catherine in Belgium. Uh, one was the yarn basket pin that I showed you from Universe, which I also have a, a link to his Etsy shop in the description box below with a coupon code that expires at the end of July, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, okay, so that was it for one tick mark. Let me see if there was anything with two tick marks. Yes, um, the Malay uh, um, shawl that had two tick marks and then the colorway that i'm using for the malay which is the faded pro fade project that has seven different hanks i showed a pic i brought up a picture that showed you all the um yarns but specifically the person liked the yarn that i was using that i started the project with which was the purple pink and teal I think, um, and then another one with two different, two tick marks was just the different project bags. You guys love project bags and you love that I had different ones. And then two were just the stitch markers in, as a whole that I showed you guys. Um, one person in particular said they always use, you know, the basic plastic ones because they, you know, weren't, weren't really thinking about the custom and, you know, the special or the custom ones. And they said they may actually get into that and get a few. So that was awesome. Um, with three tick marks, I don't have anything with three tick marks. Four tick marks was my stingray shawl. Um, and also, oh, the destination fiber yarn that I showed you guys that Rachel won as the, um, future, as the surprise giveaway winner. And then four people said just everything, everything I showed was their favorite. So that was with four. Then let's see, five tick marks. We don't have anything. Six tick marks, nothing. Seven tick marks What were the red, white, and blue decorations I had up here in the center for um, 4th of July. Then with eight tick marks, uh, my mom's blanket. Um, it was collectively that I was for sure still working on it and the pattern itself you guys loved. <clears throat> so that had eight tick marks. Then... Uh, nine, nothing, 10, nothing, 11, nothing. And then with 12 tick marks was the Expression Fiber Arts yarn and patterns that you just simply love Expression Fiber Arts yarn and patterns that had 12 tick marks because two of my patterns were Expression Fiber Arts with one of the yarns being Expression Fiber Arts. So that had 12 tick marks. And then the top one with 13 tick marks, which does not surprise me at all, were the Naughty Knitting Sacks by Katie with Naughty Knitting Sacks. Love her stuff. Again, there's a link in the description box below in the top pinned comment with coupon code. Make sure you go and check it out, but also follow her on Instagram so you know when she does shop updates. All right, so that was all the tick marks for Monday's video. Now for Wednesday's video, which was the small business video, I had Gem State Yarns and Knit Notions US. Huh, yeah, that this is gonna be also a lot of fun. So um, let's see, with one tick mark was the Gem State Yarns shop, the Etsy shop. One was my Triple F condom, the Effity FF condom, or uh, yarn condom. One was the... Um, Oh, the Christmas list condom in her shop that was naughty nice. I tried. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then another one with one tick mark was my moon star stitch marker that was on the Gem States yarn that I got. Uh, one tick mark with the will the fact that she will um, wind the hanks of yarn for you and put them into a center pull condom um, center pull cake. Sorry. Uh, one tick mark with the galactic. What did I have on here? Oh, the Galactic Hank, the colorway in the shop. One with the Glacial and Cafe Speckled, um, which I believe was in the shop. One was the Zodiac Countdown Advent that she's got. And then one was the Bubblegum Asiatic Lily and the Sari colorways in the Gem State Yarn shop. And then there was one tick mark for the 
holy s balls con yarn con that i showed you guys and then one was um Oh, my yarn condom that was in a world full of princesses be a witch. My lipstick is all like, I don't know, weird. Okay, so that was with one tick mark. Then with two tick marks, let's hurry this up, was the Knit Notions, um, Knitting Notions uh, shop. Then um, the fact that my laugh and my squeals and um, my personality and stuff, I didn't, I wasn't going to include that, but that was like, they specifically said that was their favorite. So I am adding it. Thank you so incredibly much. It's just who I am, <laughs> but thank you. I really do appreciate that. Um, I felt kind of awkward actually putting that down, but since that was listed as a favorite, I was like, okay. And it was more than one person that said it. So thank you so much. Then two tick marks for just both shops you guys loved. And then with three tick marks was my my green yarn and the stitch marker from Gem State Yarns. That was it for three tick marks. Uh, no four tick marks. And then there were two with five tick marks, and that was the top. That was all of my stuff. The yarn from Gem State Yarn with the stitch marker and the yarn condoms I showed you from Knitting Notions. And then my all of my yarn condoms there were five tick marks for just my yarn condoms that i showed you guys so yay i'm so excited that is all of the tick marking for um uh yeah for you guys <laughs> um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i apologize that it is longer but again it is my podcast so uh if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I will answer you in your comment, but as well as bring it up in next week's Getting to Know You. Uh, and if you have any tips, tricks, ideas that you'd like to share, feel free to do so. And again, I will bring it up and share it with everybody. Um, of course, if you don't want to share it with everybody, you can feel free to email it to me privately and let me know, you know, please don't share this, but here's a tip or whatever the case is. Either way, it doesn't matter. Or you can either email me or PM me, DM me, whatever, whether it's on Facebook Messenger, on Instagram. I do not have a Twitter account um, a lot anymore. Uh, for personal reasons and um, but you can find me on Instagram on Facebook Messenger as well as email um, and I do have my Facebook group the link is in the description box below but it's Natalie's Closet Piper Arts Community uh, so feel free to join us there if you would like and I think that's it congratulations to Colleen for being last week's subscriber of the week winner remember to email me with your address so I can get that out to you and um yeah remember for this week you're entering subscriber of the week by letting me know what changed on what day on my scape it should be relatively obvious you should you could probably even figure it or um uh recognize it from the thumbnails um i'm guessing but anyway that's it um that i again that i can think of so thank you all so incredibly much for your support i really do appreciate it if um, any links that I mentioned will be, if, if I mentioned that, you know, there are coupon codes or whatever, will be in the description box below as well as a top pin comment. So you have easy access to it. And um, yeah, so thank you not only, I, and I know I've said this like 12 times, but thank you not only for support of me and my channel, but also for all of these small businesses. I really do appreciate it. I've been hearing more and more from them that they're seeing traffic from my channel. So I really, really do appreciate that because that is my goal is to introduce you guys to small businesses and to help them out because I know how much small businesses are suffering, especially now. So thank you so, so much. And I will tell you if it's a link that I make something from, which the only one I think I mentioned today that I would is um, Expression Fiber Arts referral link. And that's that's points towards my next coupon on her site based on my rewards points. I don't actually make money from her. So, and, and all the other coupon codes, it's simply a coupon code for you. I don't make anything. I just get excited that they get traffic. <laughs> so I know I'm weird, but that, that, that gets me almost even more excited. So thank you all so incredibly much for everything. You guys are amazing. Remember for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Miley, of course, as always says hi and bye to her peeps. My mom, as always said, thank you for your thoughts and your prayers. And especially for the storm during the storm last week. I also thank you guys for that. And um, she said to say hello to you guys. So yeah, I think I covered everything. Um, 
Love hugs and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. Remember, if you aren't, you don't want to share that you need extra prayers publicly, feel free to email me, natalies.clause.yahoo.com. And I will, we will both add you to our prayer list. Um, and yeah, so have a great day. Uh, this is posting on Sunday sometime, may not be until the evening. It was kind of a crazy weekend and, and yeah, just a bunch of stuff going on, but it will go up on Sunday. I will see you guys um, on Monday with my next Monday makes because I do not have a tour video and Tuesday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern on my next live. So have a great day. I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.